are going to see how this race develops under the hot Bakersfield sun. Green flag is coming out. Buddy Shepard leads into turn number one. We're going to find out who's going to make it out of turn number two. Roto trying to clear Dempster for the second position, but not able to do it yet. Dempster running that high line we've seen in some of the support classes, our pro lay models and the modifieds, where they have been running. The outside line was coming into play, but how are these super lights going to do it? Rocha piercing through the field, looking for the lead down the back straightaway. Takes a peek to the inside of Shepard. Shepard not going to allow it, but now out of four, he's got the lane to the inside. So Rocha going to try to hold it down low. See if he can maybe help Shepard up a lane, maybe a little wider than he wants to go. It's early, but Rocha wants to take control of this race, and he's going to fight for it on the inside. I said the first five laps are where you're going to see the elbows out, and so many of the cars behind have already strung out to single file. It's a battle for track position up front for the lead. Who's going to own it? Shepard with the advantage into three. It's Rocha on the inside. Gomes just hanging out just behind, seeing if he is able to follow through whatever lane becomes the dominant. Single file from this battle on. Everybody saving their stuff for that lap 135. But we still got a great battle for the lead. These drivers aren't worried about saving right now. They're no. worried about the lead. Yes, they are. And they're door to door. Clean racing so far here. Five laps into this race. And Rocha still holding it down low. You do, again, this is a long race. You're going to want to preserve your equipment and keep those tires happy. Which driver amongst your top two right now is making their tires less happy? Both. Both. <laughs> Both. Gomes is closing in, though. He's going to add the pressure right now. He's got nothing to lose. He's won the championship. He would like to win the race. But you got to wonder if he's maybe playing a little mind games, putting that mirror full of the 16. Could they be? Could he be driving those top two faster than the pace I need to run? Like, He's well, you guys can do whatever saving you want to do. We know that break's coming. Everybody's on, you know, on even terms there. We know that there's going to be a yellow coming. But Dan Holtz, he's ready to get to the front to the inside of our 2023 champion. Gomes going to slip back. Holtz is going to go forward. Today. Yeah. yeah, just put him in a race car. Yep. Bowman and Zampa, great side-by-side -side duel happening here in the battle for seventh between these drivers. Remember, Bowman was one, like all he needed was a thousandth of a second in qualifying and he would have been in the redraw. Yes. Where do you find that? I mean, where do you lose that too? And if I'm right, I, I do believe it was Dempster that he, uh, he yeah. tied with and Dempster mm -hmm. pulled number two, just saying. That's how important that top eight is. If you can't get the pole, at least front turns number one and two. Holtz now going for the second spot. There is no stopping Superman, and that continues here at the October Classic 2023 as the number 23 is moved into the second spot. Dan Holtz is on a mission. Pressure from Holtz. We were watching Dan Holtz move his way through the field, and now we are side by side for the lead. So Dan peeking to the inside. Shepard won't let him have it here. This goes back to the conversation of tires. Is Buddy willing to push his equipment harder to try to hold back the 23 of Holtz? Dan's like, you can do whatever you want. I'm taking this lead. And he's going to do it out of turn number four. With 103 laps to go here at Kern County Raceway. Thanks. Caution. There's the caution you were waiting for. The pace is slow. They're saving their stuff here at Kern County Raceway for the October Classic 35th edition here in Bakersfield for the Spears Southwest Tour Series. Heels off. Dan Holtz brings the field to the green. A little bit of a bobble there from Shepard. Yeah, Herzog right on the rear bumper. With some nice heads up driving. Holtz is going to slip wide. Rocha is trying to take the lead back. It's a game of track position. You're going to see some of these drivers take this restart as an opportunity and others just chill. So effectively, what you're racing to now outside of a natural caution is going to be the brake. Yes. Uh, the brake's going to come out with 50 laps to go. 
and that is going to be opportunity for all drivers to come onto pit road. But some of these drivers did take, and you, you mentioned it, it was like the second half of the field, uh, came in, got work done, a little bit of door rubbing <laughs> into turn number one. Herzog and Dempster, that is a battle for fifth. I've noticed a trend in the Spear Southwest Tour Series. A lot of these teams that have black race cars, and I feel like it's a rub on each other and trade the same paint, but also maybe to not worry about the scuff marks between races. Oh, it's getting tight on the front straight away, and that was almost a turn into the wall for the 11 of Herzog. Lane, you see both the 16 and the 22 doing it as the yellow flag is out. Some Spears Southwest Tour Series officials right there at his pit. They are going to check for any oil coming off the car. If we can see no oil leak, then he will get the lead back. If not, we got to fix that. So they are working feverishly to check it out and find it. Let's see what the decision is going to be made, but possible oil leak on your leader, the number 23 of Superman Dan Holtz in the Beverly Hills Rejuvenation Center sponsored car. <laughs> Back he is to green we go in the Spears Southwest Tour Series. Into turn number one, Holtz in control of this race. Still shy of the halfway point. It's side-by-side -side race in action between Gomes and Shepard into turn number three. Oh, uh, Gomes, he's going to move up the track. Wasn't sure if he lost control a little bit or if he wanted to get that outside groove as fast as possible. Again, shorter distance down low, more work on your tires. Also, outside, maybe the longer distance, but maybe a little bit more saving. Battle for six between Zampa and Dempster through turn number four. Talked about Zampa's adjustments. There were a few cars that made their way onto pit road that time for some further adjustments, including Jake Bowman in the 71. But this good side-by-side -side race in here for the sixth position. Zampa's trying to work his way forward. Working the low side on the 11H down low to the outside. The bacon boy, Jacob Jones. Picking up career championship number three in the Spears Southwest Tour Series. Got to breathe a little easier this year. Last year was a showdown between himself and Doss. And then I, I think there was a little relief when Doss was like, I'm going to go traveling this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gomes was like, yeah, man. You, Please do. You go on the East Coast. Make up some time into turn number one. Zampa's going to try to pass Gomes here. And he's going to do it. That 29 setting himself up. Up to the fifth position. He's going to enjoy that spot as the caution flies over Dan Holtz, the leader, Rocha, and Herzog. The teams have been allowed to get to work here. Over 50 laps left. Can Dan Holtz get it done at the October Classic 2023? Ooh, slides up oh, in front of Rocha. Yeah. Rocha answers back and goes low. Rocha on the inside, battling with Dan Holtz on the outside. Herzog going to try to get his nose into this battle. We Both. All of the cars stacked up. Right, oh, a little bit more contact. Yep. Holtz and Herzog. That worked out for Holtz. Four. And 29, Zampa up high, Dempster down low. Yeah, they got by Gomes, who's continuing to slide back, and now they're going to repaint their cars. Out of Zampa, out of the last corner, and now we are side by side for fifth. Down the back straightaway, right on each other's sides. Ooh, on each other's sides. And now leaning, Ooh. more leaning, out of four. There's door to door, and then there's door on door. That was door on door. This all happening with about 20 laps to go. Will he get it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that was a big hit there between Dempster and Zampa. That's what I was worried about a few laps before. I said how nerve wracking it can get. And I'd worry about both of the, the tires on the, these cars now. Zampa's not going to be happy about it. He's not going to cut him any more of a break. Dempster's been pushing this. Gomes is just enjoying the show. And Rocha Spotter saying, you are, this race is wonderful, meaning yours. 
just don't look ahead. Yeah. Don't right. look too far. Rocha's see. You're right, yeah, though. Yeah, he Rocha can see this. this. Rocha can see this far ahead in the windshield, but closing in. Ten laps to go. How is this battle going to shape up? We were lucky that that didn't bring out the yellow, but Zampa all over the rear bumper now of Dempster. It's going to be Dempster's turn to hold on as he way overdrove to entry to turn number one. And up, he's going to have If somehow these two do something in front of the 98 and somebody gets by on a restart, that would still, I would add it to Blaine Rocha luck. Well, remember when they, I said there was a topic I wasn't willing to bring up 50 laps ago? Yeah. That's the one. Is our drivers in first and second, Blaine Rocha and Dan Holtz. With six laps to go, these two, oh my God. What in the world? Blaine Rocha up the track, did he cut down a tire? We were just talking about Blaine Rocha Luck, your leader, heading to the pit road with just six laps to go. Is that a flat tire? Is that a mechanical issue? Flat right front for your leader. If this race was just six laps shorter, he would be pulling into victory lane. I should have just waited five more laps. Could have just not said anything. Had to bring it up. This is Blaine Rocha luck. Wow. Just more motivation for the rest of 2023 and beyond. Hey. They're looking for what possibly could have cut down this tire, maybe puncture. They're pointing, looking, rolling the tire. But either way, Blaine is going to have to fall back to the 11th spot where he lapped up to. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. He's out of the car. He's not no longer in this race. Blaine Green flag is back in the air for a dash to the finish. This race is not done. And Dan gets sideways and loose, and that may hand over the lead to Buddy Shepard. Six laps to go. Holt's going to hold on to second. We saw Dempster with a charge, but he might be out of time. Holtz, Buddy Shepard, Buddy would love to have a big win in front of his hometown crowd, but Dan Holtz wants Ooh. back into victory lane. This is going to be a fight. Both of these drivers have big reasons to try to take this victory. Dan Holtz has been trying to find victory lane back in the Spears Southwest Tour. Buddy Shepard, a lot going on for Shepard and the family. Getting a victory would be so sweet. Three laps to go. And this ain't done. We're not done here. We're not done from the battle for third, the battle for fifth. It's all shaken out. These drivers know how close they are. Shepard using up every ounce of racetrack that he can. Holtz running that inside line, trying to get to the 22. <laughs> Paper thin, the gap between the bumpers. This time by. The white flag will fly. One lap to go. Dan holds all over the back end of Buddy Shepard. What do you do? The wind is right in front of you. And the wind could be possibly taken out right behind you. Shepard ran a wider line there, a bit defensive, a bit offensive. Out of turn number four, he's going to beat Dan Holtz, and he is going to be the winner of the 2023 October Classic, the Spears Southwest Tour. Bulwark Tenkati, October Classic 135. And he can hear you now. Buddy Shepard wins the 35th running of the October Classic. And I would say by far the coolest trophy I've ever seen at any level of racing out in front of the number 22 Van Dorn chassis. Yes, I can't thank all my guys, Zach, Nick, my dad, my mom, Tony, Zach, Myron, Jada, everybody that's out here with me. Um, it's unbelievable. Can't thank Renee's Cafe enough for all the food this weekend. Thank you. Adobe uh, Hager Trucking. H&S Body Works, Shavers Racing Oil, Advanced Distribution, everyone that's behind me on this thing has been great. Bud, you started on the...